Bendix FMP is the leading Australian brake pad manufacturer, having been in the business of friction materials for over 60 years. Its advanced manufacturing facilities have provided OEM brake pads and accessories to many local car makers for years, as well as replacement brake pads for mechanics and auto parts stores. It also has the largest catalogue of brake pads available in Oceania. Bendix brake pads are the first choice for workshops around Australia and New Zealand, simply because of their quality, effectiveness and value for money. Our thorough understanding of the car owner gives us an edge in researching and developing the right brake pads to suit different motorists' driving styles. Let's talk to Bendix's Head of Engineering, Andrew French, on how they develop such effective brake pads. So Andrew, how are brake compounds developed? Firstly, we base our specification on customer requirements. That's developed with our sales team. Then we make a formulation, our engineers develop that formulation. We bring that in the lab here, we test it, we make it in the lab, we test it on dyno and on vehicle. And what equipment's used in developing a material? We use manufacturing equipment, we use mixing equipment here that we have on site in the lab, and also pressing equipment to press the product, make the product here. We develop it in-house, we cure it in-house, and then we test it using our dynamometers and on vehicle for final validation. What procedures and guidelines are used in testing the materials? We use international and in-house developed procedures to validate our materials. Of course, attachment of the material is paramount, so we use ECE R90, which is a European regulation, to check the pads, make sure they're safe, and then we validate those tests in the lab here with our lab equipment, so dynamometers and also confirmation on vehicle. The General CT is the bedrock of Bendix's brake pad range. So what features make us stand out from other replacement brake pads? Bendix GCT offers quiet, smooth braking across a wide range of operating conditions, delivering low dust and consistent pedal feel. So could you explain how these features work? The blue titanium strut was developed to help the fitter with the bedding in process. They don't need to drive the car because the friction's instant and ready for the customer to pick up and deliver. It acts as an intermediate layer between the brake pad and the rotor, delivering instant pedal feel and friction out of the box. And how do you test for noise, cleanliness, braking performance? Noise we test on machine, brake cleanliness and also for wear we use dynamometer. We validate that with in-field testing for all of the above. Bendix develops a range of brake pads to suit just about any driver on Australian roads. Yeah, even the avid off-roaders take to the bush every so often. So what are the main problems you know, really encountered by off-road vehicles and how does Bendix's R&D department deal with those? We had to do a lot of research about what the off-road is looking for and of course they go off-road a lot but also drive in a lot of urban conditions. Mm. So we ended up developing a formulation with Gen CT type manners and also that could perform in the heavy duty region when required yeah, in right. that off-road situation. Yeah. I mean, how does it work? I mean, what about the pad compound? We use ceramic bases for the four-wheel drive material. We have more than one. There's more than one four-wheel drive type out there. So based on the vehicle type, we select the appropriate base for the appropriate vehicle. Right. It delivers effective performance, low noise, and offers low dust where required. And how do you test the product for every car maker model? We firstly screen on dyno for popular models and then select the appropriate formula. Once we've selected the formula, we field test those on a limited number of vehicles, we can't test every four-wheel drive out there, sure. and then we validate those and put those on those models. Okay. So will we void warranty if replacing on new cars? No, you won't. If you fit the Bendix product as directed and it's installed by a professional installer, your warranty is the same. It's okay. still included. Bendix is also a leader in manufacturing brake pads for trucks, vans, utes, and other load-carrying vehicles. Now, these workhorses have very different requirements for brake pads. They do. They generally operate under high load and high temperature. In that instance, we need a different compound to the GCT type of formulation for, to cater for those conditions. What we needed to do is a ceramic material usually at high temperature wears excessively. So we need a, a material that's got a higher metallic content to handle that heat. And that's where heavy duties come from. So what we need to do is maintain those performance under heavy loads maintaining wear life and performance in those conditions. So heavy duty is also available for lighter non-towing vehicles as well, why is that? 
we do range it for those vehicles. Heavy duty is not only for those trades vehicles, it's for those vehicles where people are driving in that higher temperature range and need that little bit more performance over the GCT product. Okay. So if you're towing a trailer, that's where you use it. Right. As mechanics know, it can be tricky getting the right replacement parts for European cars. Now, brake pads for European cars have the same issue. Luckily, Bendix has done all the required development to ensure that Euro Plus brake pads meet and exceed OEM and European Union's ECE Regulation 90 rules. Now, with so many vehicles, how does Bendix essentially cater for all? What we need to do is select the right formulation for the vehicle. European ECE R90 regulations stipulate that you need to have a plus or minus 15% performance from the OEM. And we do that by selecting the right formulation based on each vehicle model. So not all formulations per reference are the same. It's bespoke, uh, depending on the vehicle type. And on top of that, we include all of the hardware, including the sensors, to make sure that when you fit that up, it's right first time. And what about developing and manufacturing brake sensors for Eurocars? Sensors are based on the OEM design and check for correct fitment for each application. We work to ensure all sensors are the correct fitment. So with regards to issues or problems, how do these pads compare with European brake pads? These pads are a different formulation to the European ones. They're lower in dust, very similar to the GCT product. And the reason for that is the traditional European products are higher in dust, higher in performance, mm -hmm. higher in road wear. Our customers in the Southeast Asia market prefer low dust, so right. we've developed the material to satisfy those needs while also meeting the ECE R90 regulation. Now at Bendix, they've also realised that not all car owners are the same. So for the enthusiasts, Bendix has developed the Ultimate and the Street Road Track brake pads. As the name suggests, it's for those who need extreme, repeated performance in braking. So Andrew, can you tell us more about the Ultimate and the, uh, the Street Road Track? Sure, these two products were developed with performance in mind over comfort, so maintaining that high level of performance in all conditions and resisting brake fade no matter what the brake temperature is. They were designed for spirited driving and track days. And what are the differences in testing between Ultimate SRT and the General CT brake pads? Ultimate and SRT need to be tested under track conditions so there is a higher focus on performance testing on dyno and on track to validate the material's capability under track conditions. Additionally, there are common tests such as attachment strength that apply to all materials to ensure their safety. Sensitive issue. What can be done about extra brake dust from performance pads? Unfortunately, not a lot can be done to reduce dust, particularly with the track pads. Something has to give under extreme conditions. Usually both pad and rotor wear create dust. We are working on developments to combat some of the common issues with these materials such as dust and noise while maintaining performance. As a premier producer of friction materials, Bendix also makes brake pads, brake shoe kits and brake linings for long haul trucks, trailers and buses. Andrew, so how did Bendix's expertise transfer to commercial usage? We've made commercial vehicle formulations for a number of years now and we've applied our learnings through research and development of our passenger vehicle pads to commercial vehicle linings. The key areas required for commercial vehicle linings is material strength, so that's where we've added that into the mix. Mm -hmm. Additionally, with our passenger vehicle learnings for drum and rotor life, we've added materials into the commercial vehicle mix for longer life. So what types of testing, research and development required for the ProTrans? We do traditional dyno testing for performance and wear rate, but extensive field testing, so with fleet operators around Australia, so we can get a feedback from all operating conditions around the country mm -hmm. and make sure the product's right for the market. So ProTrans is very much a field proven product before we release it. Okay. And what are the changes to the compound that make the ProTrans last so long? Well, friction material development's about balancing abrasives and lubricants, and that's what we've done with this mix. And that's delivered uh, stable friction level, long lining life, and on top of that, extended drum life. So really that's what we've had to do with ProTrans and that's what's made it so successful for us. Another innovative feature is the Bendix brake wear indicator. Printed on the side of all Bendix brake pads, it lets mechanics and car owners know exactly when brake pads are due for a change. It's not just brake pads that Bendix work on either. Byproducts and accessories that are used for every brake service, such as Ceramacil brake lubricant, brake cleaner, shim, sensors, clips also benefit from the research and development. 
Now, would you say you're the only brake pad makers to come up with their own brake cleaner, lubricant and other accessories? There are many brake and non-brake businesses supplying accessories. The difference with Bendix products is that they are developed and tested in our lab for the intended application. This assists the installer to perform a quality brake job that lasts. And what are your motivations for researching and developing these products? We're always looking for ways to add value to the product so it makes the installer's job easier and a better experience for the end customer. We aim to be the product of choice in the braking category. Any new products in development? We are developing higher friction ceramic materials for various applications and many other continuous improvements for our current range to ensure we provide a quality product offering to the market. Well, thank you for joining us on a tour of Bendix's research and development laboratories. For more information on Bendix brakes, visit bendix.com.au. Remember to always ask your mechanic for Bendix.